we are going to simplify and also get to shared sets. Given that A and B are sets, express A intersection, A complement intersection B, complement, complement in the simplest form. So how are we able to do this one? How can we express it in the simplest form? The first thing we need to know how to get to apply all the rules of sets. Distributive law, associative law, commutative law, De Morgan's law, very important laws. So we're going to get it and this is going to be first. I'm going to distribute this complement which is outside everything. And so the first one here is going to take that. That is going to be a complement. And this now is going to change the sign. It becomes union. And the second part is a complement intersection B. There's a complement there and now plus this other complement which goes there. So by the De Morgan's law, whenever you distribute, when you have got A intersect B, whenever you distribute this complement, the sign here is going to change. That's why we saw this one has changed. And from here, when you've got two complements, they are able to cancel out and this will just be A complement union, A complement intersection B. So from here, we can as well just get to distribute. And this is going to be, if we get to distribute with that, that is going to be, it's more like we are multiplying this by this. So think of it when you have got A, and then you have got B plus C. So this will be A times Z, B, that will be A, B, and then you get whatsoever the sign which is here plus A times C. So same here, this will be A union, A complement union, A complement. And whatsoever the sign that is A. E. And then intersection, A complement union B. It's more like we are getting this with that. And then the same, the all of this A union with that. The only thing separating them is an intersection that is on their middle there. So a complement union a complement. What is outside A together with what's outside A is simply itself a complement. And then you have got intersection, a complement union B. Now this will not give us a simplest form. Well, the best way we can do it to make sure that we get it right is we can use a sketch. So I'm going to first get a complement alone. A complement means everything that is outside A. So that is it. And then I'm going to talk of Okay, this is A and then this is B. Now I'm going to take off A complement union B. So what is outside A? That is the A complement. So this is the region. Now union B means together with B. So I'm also going to shade everything including what is in A because we are saying union B. So that will be the part. Now we want where this A, we, this part which is outside A gets to intersect with A, this part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now put this together. So I'm going to get A complement and shade it again on this very one which I've already shaded. So this is the A complement. So I want us to see now where those red lines are meeting with the white ones. So you can see the answer that is just what? A complement. So it is only what's outside A because we can see here they are not intersecting and also in this region they are not. So that is going to be the answer. A complement is the very simplest form we can leave this one in. So let's consider this one. For any two sets A and B, simplify A complement, intersection, A complement, intersection, B complement, complement. So again, I'm first going to distribute this complement which is outside everything. Then it will be A complement, another complement. The sign changes here, union. And then we're going to have A complement, intersection, B. We have got a complement and then another complement comes there. A complement, complement is simply A. And then union. A complement intersection B. Again, A complement complement that will just go.
So now from here, we are going to get to show this. I'm first going to show A alone. This is the region which is, sorry, I'm shading a complement. I want to shade A, that's the region. And then I'm going to shade A complement intersection B. So here is our A and here is our B. Now what does it mean A intersection? A complement intersection B. So we want what is outside A but should be in B. That's the meaning of intersection. It's different from union where we said everything outside A including B. So A complement intersection B means what is outside A but should be found in B. So this is the region. That is A, a complement intersection B. Okay, now I'm going to get my set A. What I shaded, I'm going to get it. So I'm going to get the set A, which is there. Now, from what we can see here, do we have anything that is common? Now, here we are taking what? The union of these two sets. What would be the union of these two sets? Well, union just means combining. So I'm going to combine A and D. A complement intersection B. We can see that is just giving us A union B. So that would be the simplest form. But if this was the A intersection, A complement intersection B. A, we have seen this is the one. And then A complement intersection B, that is the one in blue. So putting to them together, they have given us this in blue and in red. Are those meeting? No. If there was an intersection here, these two are not meeting, it would have been an empty set. So that is how we get to show it in simplest form. Now, let's consider this one. For n two sets, A and B simplify. So this is supposed to be the third question here. One to simplify A intersection B complement union A complement intersection B and then another complement. Well, how do we get to work it out? So just like we've done for the previous one, we're going to start with the complement that is outside everything. So that would be now A intersection B complement and then we're going to have a complement there that is coming from that one and then the sign is going to change into intersection then we're going to have A complement intersection B, we're going to have a complement also outside that what that has come from here. And then I'm going to distribute this complement into the inside. So that will be A complement. The sign also changes inside. It will be B complement complement. That is simply a B. And then intersection, again distribute the A. That will be A complement complement, which is just A. And then union B complement. So that is going to be it. So from here, I'm just going to show this in two diagrams and then we can now conclude what the final one was going to be. So I've got A and B. Even there, A and B. So for the first one, we are shading what is outside A together with what's in B. So what is outside A? The all this region. So you can say this is a union B. That means we're also going to shade B, even if it is not outside A. And then here we are shading what is outside B, but it should also be in what? A. So let me use a different color here for goodness' sake. And for this one, I can simply shade on the same diagram. We can see it. I'm now going to shade what is outside B and let me just make the lines so straight so that we are going to differentiate easily so that I get to use the same diagram. So we are shading first what's outside A together with a B. And now I'm going to shade what is outside B together with A. 
So what is outside B? So that's B complement. So it should also include the O of what? The O of A. Now we need to look at where these are intersecting. Well, in which regions are they intersecting? So here we can clearly see that in this point, they are not intersecting. And well, also in this region, we only have blue ones. They are not intersecting. But on the middle, they are intersecting. And also just outside here, they are also intersecting. So what, that, what does this mean? So they are intersecting at A, intersection B. They are also intersecting outside A, union B. A union B, but the outside. So uh, this, we're going to take the union. So it is A intersection B union, A union B complement. So that is the region that you've shaded there. And that's how we can leave it in a very simple form. Otherwise, we cannot give this in any more different form. Because you can see this region here, the lines are getting to intersect. And also the outside. They're also getting to intersect. They're only not intersecting in this one and this one. How can we give that? It's just A intersection B together with the, what is outside the union of those two sets. Okay. So now let's consider the fourth question here. The sets A and a, B, and C all intersect, and U is the universal set. Shade the part described by, by the part B union C minus A intersection B. What does this mean? B union C minus A intersection B. Well, this means B union C, and then minus, I'm going to put intersection the second part is going to contain a complement. Whenever we see a minus here, it means we're going to have intersection and a complement on the O of the second part. So now we can work with this. So I'm first going to get the first one, which is B union C. Let me put B and C. B union C we know is just this part, everything inside there. And then now, for the second one, we are talking about A and B. The intersection of these two sets is this one, but we want the complement. What is the outside? So what is outside the complement is all of this region here. Now, from what we can see, we want to take their intersection. Where are these two cells going to be able to intersect? So, this is B union C, and then this is A intersection B complement. We can now put them. Now, we have got the three of them to A, B, and C. We have got A there, we have got B there, and we have got C there. So if we can see clearly, B union C is this region. We don't care whether it is in A. All we are interested to make sure is that we get to shade the O of B union C. And then now the second part is A intersection B, but what is outside? A is here, B is here, but what is outside those? So we are interested in this region. It is outside. As long as it is outside the intersection of those two sets A and B. Okay, like that. So now where can we see that these two sets are intersecting? So we can clearly see that they are only intersecting in the what? In the union of A and B. Okay. That is the region in which they are intersecting. In the union of o. A and B, but the middle part here is not included. This middle part 
they are not intersecting as we can see i've not drawn any green line on the middle here so this middle is out so the only shaded part is this portion which is here and also this portion so the final answer then after we have seen that that's the part that we've gone to shed we can put it now A there, B there, and the set C. So the region that we are shading is in is in C and also in B. But it shouldn't include the intersection of A and B. This region is not included. So it is in what? It is in C and in B. But we are not including the part for what? For the intersection of A and B. Well, we can also see that in here, they are also intersecting. So we should also include that part. Okay, so that is it. Let's consider now the last one here. The sets A, B, and C all intersect. And U is the universal set. Share the part described by the part or by the set B union. A complement, a section C complement, and then another complement outside. So you can as well distribute this complement which is outside. That is going to be B complement, the sign changes. And then it will be A complement, intersection C complement, and then this will be another complement there. I can distribute the complement in the inside. So that is going to give us B complement, intersection. So inside it will be just A because complement 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 that cancels out and the sign is going to change it to into union and then this will just be C because of complement complement now we can get to sh shade this the set A there the set B here and then the set C so we are talking of what is outside B that is the B complement. I can shade the B complement. Everything outside B. Okay, that's the region outside B. But where does that intersect with A union C? We are going to get A union C A together with everything in C so that is our A and then also shed everything in C that is A union C now where can we see that they are intersecting well the region that we can see here is just a union C, but we are going to remove the whole offset B. So this is simply A union C, but remove set B. A union C, but it shouldn't be in what? In B. Outside B. So we can now shade that A union C but it should be outside the set B so this is the region then described by this set which is here well thank you so much for having been present at this time around enjoy your day